There's a creepy and crawly nuisance one to give you the heebie-jeebies, and it's invading homes all around Oahu. We're talking about millipedes. People across the island used the reported feature on our website and asked us to look into the problem. So we did. And we learned there are two kinds of them. The red ones, known as cinnamon millipedes, which are just over an inch long. And then there's the garden millipede, which is black and a little bit smaller. So why are so many of them coming out? And more importantly, how do you get rid of them? Manolo Morales is getting you answers. Manolo. Marissa, I spoke with a couple of experts who tell me the recent wet weather we've been having might have something to do with it, but some residents tell me they've never seen so many of them before. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's about ten of them on the front porch. Kailua resident Bob Kimura tells me he has to clean his yard daily over the last couple of weeks to get rid of the red millipedes. He's lived in this house for 20 years, and he has never seen it this bad. Not in this, this amount or, uh, yeah, not in this much quantity and with that much persistence over a long, you know, weeks. What's making the problem worse is that they're getting inside the house. It's a nuisance because it's crawling on the carpets and the floors, but, I mean, they don't, they don't hurt you. They don't bite you or anything. It's just, it's just a creepy feeling of seeing them crawling in your house. The State Department of Agriculture tells me that they have received a few calls about problems with millipedes, but this is not the first time it happens periodically. Entomologist Darcy Oishi tells me millipedes live and breed underground, but recent rains might have caused the ground to become too wet, which forces them to come out. They feed on uh, decaying matter. That's their primary food source. Uh, so you know, if they're going in, into people's homes, it's probably, again, escaping the weather or the, the existing conditions outside. We also contacted pest control companies who told us that they have been receiving more calls about it all over Oahu. What would be an explanation for that? Um, really, our theory is, is that they've always been there, and perhaps they haven't been flushed out the year before. Um, so it could be that they have a couple of years' worth of millipedes built up in their ground, in their soil. To keep millipedes out, Mateo suggests avoid overwatering the lawn, rake the leaves often, and don't leave mulch on the ground. The millipedes also secrete some type of acid as a defense mechanism, which can stain carpet and tiles. For some people, they can also be harmful if they're allergic. It can be an irritant, certainly. Okay. It can make you itchy. I mean, we can certainly react to it and just wash up wash after it. There are also pesticides you can use that will kill millipedes, but you have to apply them regularly. Pest companies can treat your yard to help stop millipedes from going inside the house. Manolo Morales, KHOM, 2 News. Manolo, thank you. And again, people reached out to us using the reported feature on our website. If you see something you want us to check out, report it at khon2.com or through the KHON2 mobile app.